Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia video, and today we are taking on Dare to Defy, um, and I am just going to do the Cam Machina team on this. This was the same team I did for my Shinryu, so I'm not going to do a separate Shinryu run. Um, my plan was to hold on to this team for a while, but this Odin has got really nasty mechanics, and I have a method to beat him with this team, so I'm just going to do it, and I'm going to deal with the other Dare to Defies as they come. Um, so, what we're going to do with Garnet... Um, I'm not going to set up her stuff right away. The timing of this all has to be like perfect because basically what I'm doing is um, I'm fighting, we'll just do this. Um, I'm fighting his force gauge. I got to get my thing set up and ready to go before his does. That's one thing. The other thing is, is I have to be able to like maximize on it all. So it, the, the bad thing is, is the way it's worked out, I, I'm not going to lie, this is like my third time trying to record this for you guys. Um, it's a little bit trickier because on the normal Shinryu run, uh, I was able to just run Pinello and then I was able to bring a Garnet friend and it was easy because I could just force charge up a little bit quicker and it was not a problem. But here I'm charging slower, which is good because I need to, you can't just rush into it because you have to kill him during the combo, otherwise he auto kills you when you come out of it, right? All right, so Cam, let's just do the LD here. Sorry, I got to balance myself of like thinking and commentary at the same time here. Because um, you got to do this like perfect pretty much um, for the setup that I'm doing at least. So the thing that's really annoying, I don't have a problem getting to my force time first. The problem is, is the timing works out so that like Odin will be at like 88, 89% on his gauge, right? But the, my turn order ends up being really stupid where it's like, all right, Cam's up and can use the force but then there's two garnets and then another cam and then machina so it's like if i use the force too soon it takes me forever to get the machina and i don't get the full effect so i just got to get it to where that turn order is better when i'm set when i have it all set up right so machina we want to start by getting his debuff on spirals linchpin now i could try it instead of machina maybe just do titus maybe that's what i need to do because titus is way faster and i know he'll be set up that's maybe what I'll do if I keep struggling with this. I'll just go to T-Disc. But I did this fine on the, on my other run. It's just I just need the setup to, <laughs> to be better. Okay. Um, we'll do the free awakening here. So the reason why Odin is such a problem is that he's got... You can see on his health bar, he's got like a million thresholds. Um, what he does is he upgrades his auras. And when he upgrades his auras... We'll do the EX here. Um... If he upgrades it to three, he auto kills you. So that's one problem. <laughs> the other problem is, is he jump cuts turns and he'll take a bunch of turns in a row and he can kill you that way. The other thing is, is one of his big attacks, if you survive it, he puts a really nasty debuff on you. Um, so here we got like, even right here, like turn one, he can just flat out HP attack and kill you. So I brought Raijin call. So we're going to put Raijin debuff on him. So for his first two turns, he can't kill us. Um, because his debuff is going to make it so we take zero HP damage from him. Um, now with Garnet, I think what I am going to do is I am going to set up her burst. So let's do this. And the other thing is if you use Garnet like turn one, sometimes her burst effect will run out before you set up. So I waited a turn. So now I think we're going to be okay. Trust me, guys. I've tried this a few times. I've got this down. Um, so yeah, I'm just hoping that this time... The setup just the turn order just isn't wonk wonky when I do it. Garnet just loves to jump turns and get two turns in a row, and it it's actually kind of annoying. Um, all right, so now I don't want to put Cam's burst effect up too soon. Actually, I could just put it up because um, well, here let's do the free on the AA. I like doing that. What I'll do then is I'll use Great Wheel. I think then on Kim's next turn, I'm just going to get his burst effect up right away because he's got like, I think seven turns of it and we're not going to, Cam's not going to take seven actions before we're set up. So then I think we'll be fine. Let's just do a free awakening. Just spam some turns, get our force gauge going up a little bit here. See, I don't have any crazy force chargers in, in Garnet is it does not have force enhancements. So <clears throat> she's actually slowing me down a little bit, but this is just enough with two force enhanced 30 characters. We have just enough to stay ahead of Odin's gauge. Um, we're not doing anything else here with Machina. No, we are not. Uh, let's do Machina's AA. All right, and then let's do Cyclone Drive. And then Machina will have his EX up for the next turn. Okay. 
All right, Garnet. Um, she's got her burst effect up now and everything, so let's just do Aquamarine. She's just going to pretty much spam Aquamarine the rest of the way here. I might do her LD again just for some damage. All right, with Cam, I think we are ready. Let's just pop the burst effect here. Uh, let's do his AA first. Oh, I already had it on. <laughs> That's right, I just did it last turn. That's fine. That's just a free action. Get our, get our uh, gauge up a little bit. Okay, so let's do this. And then the big thing with Cam is right before I go into Force, I got to put Kurosami Call on. What would be ideal is if, it, like, I had Cam's turn where I'm using his Force followed up by Machina. But it just never works out that way. It's always, if not one Garnet, two Garnets. And if not two Garnets, two Garnets, and then another Cam turn. So, and I wanted, my last run, I tried waiting until that last Cam turn, but then Odin got to 100 and killed me. So, it's just so frustrating. And without being able to bring a friend unit into this, I can't, like, I if I just had that little bit of a crutch, it would be so much easier. Um, Machina, it's too soon to go into his burst stuff, so let's just do his EX. That's fine. The gauge does start ramping up quicker the later you go, so I've got to make sure I'm ready. My last run also, I, it kind of caught me quick, and I'm like, oh, crap, I'm already there, and I wasn't, like, set up yet. Um, Garnet... Let's just Aquamarine, because her stacks are at four. She's going to follow up. Odin's going to get paralyzed, and then it's going to push Cam up. Yep. This dare to, the, the dare to, to defy also makes me very glad I actually pulled and, like, maxed out Cam. Because my original plan was just to use a Cam friend, but there are events like this where you can't bring a friend, so I'm glad I have it now. Um... All right, Cam, what do you need to do? Um, no matter what I do, he's getting paralyzed. So let's just refresh his LD, I guess. Okay. And then with Machina, I'm tempted to actually use his burst effect now. No, no, not yet. Too soon. Too soon. Yeah, too soon. Um, we can do an extra stunning slash, though. Free turn, extra damage, build up the gauge a little bit. 70%. We are close. I think Machina's next turn, we're going to do it. Um, well, now I got the free turn, so. Oh, no. Am I building up enough that I need to actually do it now? No, not yet. Not yet. We're close, though, guys. We're close. We're close to... All right, let's do the EX. Um, I think Garnet, I'm going to use her LD. Provided it doesn't make her jump up a bunch of turns. No, it doesn't. Okay. Um, Garnet's still got six turns of burst. I'm actually going to put this other Raijin call on, because I think it does physical attack up, which will actually help Machina out. Okay, now let's do the LD. Yeah, we're at 80%. We're really close now. So Machina for sure is getting his burst on the next turn. Um, Cam is just going to do like an attack. Um, what's classification, I guess? Okay. Now the problem is, is once we get him to 79, which we will, he's going to start jump cutting turns. Which is fine, because we've got him paralyzed and whatnot. Um, Alright, so... oh, Okay, I'm going to try something different. So normally I use Reigns and I pull Cam up. I'm going to pull Garnet up instead to like mess with the turn order a little bit. And hopefully it works out a little bit better. Oh, see? There it is again. Look at the turns now. Look at the turns here. Machina is just way the heck back there. It's like Garnet, Cam, Garnet, Cam. Look at all those turns. So this is where I get screwed up now. Because now by the time I get to the next Machina, he's so late. It does this to me every time. Because I need that Reigns call on. I wonder, well no, I have to have it on him. Alright, so let's just, we got to do this now. Because now the problem is, is Odin... We, we've got to, like, start doing this now. So here's the problem that happens. In order to beat Odin to his, 
If I can get to Cam's second turn there in the order before Odin hits 100, I'm good. But the problem is, is he might not. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe I can get to that second Cam turn. If I can get to that second Cam turn, then we're good. Um, so let's just do it. Let's just bust through here really quick. Okay. Because, yeah, my gauge isn't at 100 yet. So I did start this a little bit sooner. So maybe we are okay. Um, I just want to make sure we don't mess with turn order here. Um, so I think using Great Wheel here is fine. Maybe we got this. As long as we can get to that second cam turn. Which I think we will. I think we actually are going to be... Oh, okay, jumping turns. That's fine. It's going to pull... It's going to pull Garnet back up. As long as we get our force time set up, we've got this for sure. Because we've got him low enough health. We're going to absolutely crush this guy. Okay. And we should get pushed up. And Garnet's... Okay. See, now we got double Garnet again. Akuma Marine. Okay, and then get the second Garnet up. There's always, like, these double Garnets in this slot. Yup. Okay. We gotta get through this Garnet, and then we gotta get the Force we can, but I need to get Kurosami up also. See, look! there's Now there's another Garnet. Like, why is there just infinite Garnets? Stop with the Garnet turns! Will you please stop with the Garnet turns? It's like, when did Garnet turn into Tidus? She's a turn hogger, apparently. Um, see, he's at 94. I think he's... Okay, I'm going to do the attack, but I think he's going to pop here. If he doesn't pop here, we got it. Well, see, now I can't... I don't even have time to put Kurosame call on now. Look, is he going to pop to 100 now and just kill us? Okay, maybe we're okay. But I don't think I can put Kurosami call on. Does a call up his gauge? I'm gonna try the I'm gonna try it, guys. I'm gonna put the Yeah, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna put it on and hope his gauge doesn't go up. I think free to I think AAs and calls won't up his gauge. If it does, that's really stinky. Oh shoot, I shouldn't be uh Am I going to make him go through another threshold here? Let's see. Okay, it's at 98. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Don't go to 100. Okay. Oh, my gosh. 98.8. All right. So now the four should cancel him. Oh, my gosh. I think we got it because this should cancel him out. Because I think it's just like attacking him while he's debuffed with the force. I don't remember what cancels, but... I, every time I've done it, it does cancel him with Cam. So, please cancel. Please tell me enemy force time canceled. Yes, okay. Whew! <laughs> Boy, this was way dicer than it needed to be. Okay. Now. We've got Machina. Machina's got his burst effect. Now, what I'm going to do here. Um, I'm actually going to stall out a little bit. Because I, I've got 10 turns of burst, right? So, Machina's got two turns of the call effect. So, I'm actually going to do a Stunning Slash for a free turn before I go in. And then I'm going to go into Burst. This is just going to up the gauge a little bit before I go into Burst. Okay, so we're going to do that. Attack through. Okay. Yep. We only got one launch, but that's fine. All right, now we're going to go into Burst. Okay, now it's just a damage race, but I think we're fine. Because he's at 71, so let's... We just do this now the rest of the way. But I think we got it. Because we're going to burn through all those thresholds. He'll auto kill us. But I think we're going to kill him before we come out of this. That's the plan, guys. That's the plan. Kill him before we come out of this. Now, I know there are like way more traditional ways to beat Odin. But this is the way I wanted to do it. But even this was very difficult. He was a very difficult... This is probably... Um, I think the reason, too, why I was willing to do this team for Dare to Defy right away, this was the hardest Shinryu I personally had trouble with. Like, this this one was a pain. I think part of what makes it harder for me, too, is I didn't, like, I don't, like, I think if you have a fully invested Gabronth, like, you could do this traditionally a lot better because it's built for Gabronth, right? But I don't have Gabronth built, so that's, that's what makes it a lot harder. All right, so we got the Garnet follow-ups here. I'm feeling pretty good. At, he's at 56%, which seems like a lot. But we do a ton of damage. We burst them. Like, the last attack can literally do, like, 20% of his health. So, um, 
it's he'll 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 start dropping real fast here <laughs> and honestly this isn't a fight that i care to like try to do challenge runs or different team comps like it's just i don't know when they do like really annoying auto kill things it's just not as fun to me i don't know um he doesn't seem like a boss that i want to just play around with a lot that's why i kind of just wanted to do this no nonsense cam machina just kill him all right i think we got this finally to you guys, you don't see it, but I literally, this is my third time recording this video. <laughs> my third time recording this stupid video. Um, but we're getting it here. Okay. Yeah, when you guys watch YouTubers and they're doing these, like, really nice, clean runs, don't don't think that that's, like, the first time they opened up the game and recorded. Uh, sometimes these videos take a lot of time. This is one that took me a lot longer than I wanted to. But I think we got it. I think we got it. I think we got her done here. 83 yep 601 yeah he's at 17 uh i mean this is still kind of close but i think we got it because look this it's gonna take him from like 17 and then i think garnet might have a follow-up coming soon too um yep garnet's gonna do a follow-up here so this is yeah he's 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 gone he might be gone before i even do the last attack because garnet's gonna follow up too and i think we're gonna be seeing purple numbers yeah he's at one percent now so you can see yeah, it seems like really dicey like oh my god one turn left 17 percent but like the damage we're doing here so yeah, now he's done. Whoo, look at 98.9 we <laughs> our 98.8 we had his uh force gauge up. Literally it hits 100 and you're dead. So it's crazy. Like if you're doing this traditionally with Gabranth, I would picture myself needing to use like Pinello, like force charging and getting like multiple force times or something. I don't know. But even then you're going to go through multiple thresholds and he's going to auto kill you. So this is just a tough fight, you guys. Tough fight, but I'm glad to have it done. Let's go through the mission screen here. Make sure we got everything. Um, I don't think I lost any HP. Yeah, we're yeah 25 out of 115 turns. I don't even know how you take 115 turns on this guy uh, with his crazy. Well, here's the thing. I think if you have Gabranth and like all the debuffs, you can survive. Like he gets to 100%, and you do survive the attack, and you can actually like go through it. So I think that's what you do, and you do multiple force times. But um anyways guys there you go dare to defy one done it took me a few tries but we got it um let me know how your runs are going let me know if you used a different team let me know if you did a more challenging run um than me but thanks for watching guys we'll catch y'all on the next one